In other news now, in Saudi women's rights activist Lojen Al Hatlol has been nominated for this year's Nobel Peace Prize to be announced on October 11th. But Hatlol won't be there to receive it even if she wins. All she wanted was to drive, but Saudi officials have imprisoned and tortured her. And Lojan's Nobel nomination exposes the dubiousness of the Saudi regime on women empowerment and reforms amid a massive global PR offensive meant to boost King Mohammed bin Salman's image. She is 29 years old, courageous and an advocate for gender equality. Perhaps that's the reason she is now in a Saudi Arabian prison. Trapped and tortured. She is Lu Jain Al Hatlul. Shortly before Saudi women were allowed to drive last June, the government re arrested Hatlul, who even ran for a seat on a municipal council in 2015, but lost. Lu Jain was arrested along with other women's rights activists who had fought for the right to drive, which the Saudi government was about to grant. While some of the activists have been released, some remain jailed along with Hatlul. In a shocking revelation, rights groups say at least three of the women, including Hatlul, were held in solitary confinement for months and subjected to abuse, including electric shocks, flogging and sexual assault. In communication over emails dating back to August, the brother of the Saudi activist revealed the Saudi government's mute response, saying, We have been contacting the government since day one. We sent countless letters to the government, but with no response. Unfortunately, we're now in a position where we've lost all hope that the government would cooperate with us. And despite the tall claims made by MBS, Al Hatlul continues to languish in jail, as confirmed by her brother. In the latest text shared with Beyond, Walid Al Hatlul says, There's no news in Lu Jain's case. MBS said in 60 minutes that he'll personally investigate the torture, but so far we haven't heard any news about initiating investigation on torture. Saudi officials have denied torture allegations and said the arrests were made on suspicion of harming Saudi interests and offering support to hostile elements abroad. However, the case has drawn global criticism and provoked anger in European capitals and the US Congress following last year's murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi by Saudi agents inside the kingdom's Istanbul consulate. Some of the charges against the women on trial fall under the kingdom's cybercrime law, stipulating jail sentences of up to five years, according to rights groups. Those against Hatlul include communicating with 15 to 20 foreign journalists in Saudi Arabia, attempting to apply for a job at the United Nations, and attending digital privacy training. What's making matters worse for Lujain is perhaps her rejection to secure prison release in exchange for a video statement denying reports of torture in custody. So much for Saudi reforms and gender equality. One can't help but ask, can the oil-reliant economy make progress while at the same time treating its women as second-class citizens? And even though the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize will be declared on October 11th in Oslo, Will its contender, Lujain Al Hatlul, see the light of day? Bureau Report, We On, World is One. Well, that's a wrap on this news bulletin. The news and updates continue right here on Beyond. Stay with us.